Welcome back. In this video I would like to show you how to install on OpenShift uh, a jar file which was generated uh, from the Spring Boot framework. So as you know this jar file uh, consists of Tomcat and your application. So I will only just install this jar file. I will not use any sources. Okay, let's see it uh, in uh, Spring Tool Suite. This is my application. And okay, you need this jar file. So the best idea is just go to your project and then first maybe uh, update project. I will not do it, I'll just done it. It will just take too much time. Update project, then go to run as and then first clean and then go to install and it will download everything and create your jar file and this is my jar file which i created so let's copy this jar file somewhere else uh, just to my <laughs> github repository so i will copy it you will see i have it uh, on on my desktop so let's go to my desktop here, this is my jar test, and you see this is this file. Oh, I'll just copy it one more time. I'll just over overwrite this element. Okay, replace. It doesn't matter. So I have this this element here. Uh, the name of this file is unimportant, so let me just change the name. I will call it, for example, I don't know, whatever you want. For example, jar uh, underscore abc. So just to show you, it doesn't matter what is the name. So just to see if this is really this is really um, uh, really uh, a working Tomcat, uh, let me go to our uh, directory. You see ls. I have my jar file and just start it. Java minus jar and then. And then our file. And you see what happened now. Okay, start spring. Okay, let's wait a little bit just to start everything correctly. Okay. And after this, go to your browser, localhost on the port 8080 press enter and you see our hello world application so this is a working application so let's go back to my directory so here i will just push it first i will stop this this directory control c okay and then just see add then commit and push. Okay. I have this file on GitHub. Let's see it on GitHub. Okay, it's here this is this is this test jar A B C jar. Whatever the name is unimportant. I will just give you also this this link uh, in, in in the description so you can you can use it. Now let's go to OpenShift console and as in the previous video we don't need any more uh, JBoss. We don't need any more uh, any more uh, Tomcat because we have this inside of our package. So we will use this Red Hat OpenJDK or you can also use this one Remember, you need to to delete the, the 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 main directory name. Keep it empty. Just see my previous uh, Spring Boot video. So open this one. Here it works without any problems. And then next, so for example, jar test, jar test. Uh, call it two. Maybe there is such a problem. Then application name JDK because uh, I use. Uh, Java here and then the git repository go to the github 
copy it and paste it here. Jar test, create. And this is all. So this application will be created. Okay, you see, you have this application. Let's go to this application and first take a look at the logs. It is fast. It is much more faster than using uh, JBoss. So see the full log. Okay, just clone it with open. And this is almost everything. So just, just wait for push. <clears throat> okay, almost ready. And as I told you, told you it is much more faster than using the JBoss, and I had no problem with installing. So this is the advantage. So let's see here. We start a new pod here. Okay, we have this pod here. Let's see what we have inside of this pod. Just wait, it will really start. Okay, click on the pod and then just go to the logs. And what you see in logs, <laughs> you see, we just start our jar ABC jar. So that name is unimportant. You start it and this is ready. The application is ready. Spring Boot application is ready go to overview and click on the link of course sometimes we need to wait and you see hello world how my application is working so this is all if you want to install your own jar file very easy very fast no problems maybe the the only problem is this jar file normally is not small it's about 30 megabytes, so it will take a little bit to, to, to upload it to GitHub. Okay, this is it, and thank you very much. See you next time.